All right, things are getting serious between myself and Emma Donahue. So I read Room back in the day, loved it so much. Um, and then I forgot last time I <laughs> came on here for a video that I also have a signed copy of Akin and loved this one as well. And then just a few days ago, I read The Pull of the Stars and was amazing. And I'm like, why did I not read more Emma Donahue before? And so I just requested as many as I could from my library and um, just read The Wonder through audiobook, which is basically like sucking every second when I'm not working <laughs> by listening to it. And it was so good. <laughs> um, basically, I'll tell you what it's about, but the whole book I was thinking like, okay, this is probably like four stars. I don't love it as much as the one that I read like two days ago. Um, yeah, then the end happened. So scratch that five stars. Um, so basically the wonder is about this nurse again, uh, Emma Donahue seems to like to write about nurses and she is English, but she gets called to go to Ireland for like a special project to be like a private nurse. And it's like really good money, whatever. So she just goes and she doesn't really know like who she's nursing or like what the situation is before she gets there. So she's in Ireland and it's this very small, like rural town. Everyone is super, super, super religious. And um, even beyond religion to like believing in fairies and things that are a bit, you know, out there and superstitious and whatever. Um, and so she meets this family and it turns out that she is going to be basically supervising this child. So the child is 11 years old and basically from her 11th birthday on, she has not been eating. And so she's kind of like a, a miracle in the town. And basically they're saying that she is just living on like the grace of God or air or whatever. Like God is just protecting her and she's like this little miracle or like maybe like on the pathway to becoming a saint. And, um, so basically, um, Elizabeth, who is the nurse and this nun who is also a nurse, not like, I don't think she has the level of training that Elizabeth has, but regardless, they are going to basically break each day into eight hour shifts and they are going to be supervising this little girl, like double checking that no one is secretly feeding her, that she doesn't have food stashed somewhere because essentially at the beginning of the story, it has been four months since this girl has eaten anything. And basically they're there to prove that either this is a miracle or she is hiding food somewhere and sneaking it at night or whatever. Um, so that is a story. And, um, like with a lot of Emma Donahue's stories, it's very claustrophobic. Like uh, when Elizabeth is nursing this girl or basically supervising her, she can't leave her side. She has to be under her watch all the time. And so she is kind of trapped in this room with this girl. And throughout the story, this girl is getting sicker and sicker and sicker and, you know, starting to starve. And, um, yeah, anyway, so it's very claustrophobic is basically what I wanted to say. And, um, I think the reason that I initially I was thinking of giving it four stars is just because I was like, like, come on, like, I want to know what happens. Like, basically at the beginning is just day in, day out, them watching her. She's not eating. Why is she not eating? Why is she still okay at the beginning of the story? And like, I'm just like, okay, like I, if, if I was reading a physical book, I probably would have skimmed, skimmed, skimmed to get further along because I just wanted to know like what the heck was happening. And it was just like making me anxious that the same thing was happening day after day after day. And like, 
you could say that would be like boring, but I really felt like it was done almost on purpose to give you this anxious, claustrophobic sort of feeling while you were reading it. And then the end is just like, like all these amazing things happen. It is so freaking good. So um, if you are interested in um, a story about science, religion, faith, uh, and just like kind of a claustrophobic sort of book, then you should read The Wonder. And I will now be reading some of her other books because they are so good. And I, it's been very rare for me to have audiobooks that I like cannot turn off. And that has happened to me a lot lately. So thank you to Hackley Public Library for letting me read this for free on audio. And yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend with loads of very good reads and outdoor adventures. And I will see you soon. Bye.